Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll talk about the good clinical laboratory practice. More after the break. In almost every clinical study, there is a clinical lab involved. Lab activities are part of clinical research, which needs to comply with good clinical practice requirements. These requirements are intended to ensure patient safety and data integrity. To fulfill these important objectives, clinical labs involved in clinical studies need to work according to high standards, especially the good clinical laboratory practice. GCLP identifies systems required and procedures to be followed within an organization conducting analysis of samples from clinical trials in compliance with the requirements of good clinical practice. It thus provides sponsors, laboratory management, project managers, clinical research associates, and quality assurance personnel with the framework for a quality system in analysis of clinical trial samples, ensuring GCP compliance overall of processes and results. The purpose of the GCLP guidance is to provide laboratories that perform the analysis of samples collected as part of a clinical trial with information that will help them to develop and maintain quality systems, which will comply with relevant European Union directives, national regulations, and associated guidance documents. GCLP is intended to provide a unified framework for sample analysis, to give credibility to the data generated, and to facilitate the acceptance of clinical data by regulatory authorities from all over the world. There exists a huge variation of clinical laboratories, which are involved in the clinical trials. A clinical laboratory means a facility that conducts manipulation, analysis, or evaluation of clinical samples collected as part of a clinical trial. Such analysis or evaluation may include the generation of pharmacokinetic data, safety data, primary efficacy data, histopathology data or data used to support any other stated endpoint. The analyses of samples vary as well as the type of samples. There can be standard blood analysis like hematology and clinical chemistry samples to provide the investigators with important safety information about their patients. But there can be also the analysis of metabolites to learn about the metabolism of the study medications, hormones, tumor markers, urine samples, stool samples, biopsies which are analyzed by pathologists, cytology samples, and many more. The GCLP applies those principles established under good laboratory practice for data generation used in regulatory submissions relevant to the analysis of samples from a clinical trial. At the same time, it ensures that the objectives of the good clinical practice principles are carried out. This ensures the reliability and integrity of data generated by analytical laboratories. GCLP is structured in 14 main sections to give detailed information on every task like definitions, organization and personnel, facilities, equipment, materials and reagents, SOPs, planning of work, subcontracting, trial materials, conduct of work, reporting results, QC, audits, storage or confidentiality. So much about the good clinical laboratory practice. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.